Alrighty guys, it's I, Chrissy Girl. Welcome to part 23 of my Lego Harry Potter Years 1 to 4 playthrough. And in the last part, we found out that Sirius is Harry's godfather. Well, Sirius Black is Harry's godfather. He killed 13 people with one curse, so he's a murderer. And not only that, he committed the ultimate douchebag act of betraying Harry's parents and turning them over to Voldemort. He's the reason they're dead, people. So, we hate Sirius Black. Let's start a hate club on DeviantArt. Nah, seriously. I'm, I'm sure most people know how this is going to turn out. But let's, let's just go along with it for the sake of it. For the sake of it. You know, the story and all that. So, going back into Gryffindor Tower. Jesus. How long has it been? <laughs> I haven't slept in months. <laughs> we just spent the whole time wandering around Hogwarts. Completed a year in about a day. So. While uh, perusing our rather nifty little new map. There seems to be a mysterious face wandering around. And the name seems familiar. Well the face seems familiar in the case of this game. Peter Pettigrew, another friend of Harry's father's, and for whatever reason, he's wandering around Hogwarts. The reason why this is so strange, that Peter Pettigrew's wandering around Hogwarts, he's supposed to be dead. The plot thickens. So Harry and Ron are out of bed, and are trying to see where he is, trying to work out what he's doing. You know, if this guy really is alive or if the map's buggered. Because <laughs> if this guy's really alive, then why the hell does it say he's dead? I don't know. So, what we got to do here is get some keys. And basically just proceed through, you know, section to section. We're on the next stage already, I don't believe it. We literally had no chance to, you know, explore the hub world. It was just straight into the next stage. Don't have a problem with that at all, though. So, turn the keys. Door opens. Plenty of stuff to interact with. We don't need to worry about invisibility cloaks or filch here. Which is always good. Bloody hate Filch. He's a douchebag. And yeah. At least I don't think we have to worry about Filch. I don't remember seeing him in this level. But then again, I could always get confused with other levels. It happens before. It happens from time to time. Now, I do apologise, but there's plenty of stud to be got here. And after all, how are you supposed to know where the goodies are if you don't manipulate everything? Oh well. Oh. <sighs> This puzzle's obviously fairly straightforward. Green on the bottom, red, then blue. And more blooming Cornish pixies. Annoying critters. Oh, Eve. Couldn't be asked to figure out what I had to do there. Dementor, need Ron. Oh, I say Dementor, Boggart. Dementor is Harry's Boggart, just as it was in the book and the film. Just, you know, kind of amazing in a way that Harry thinks of Dementor is scarier than Voldemort. Well, I suppose actually, in a way, a Dementor probably is scarier than Voldemort. 
you know, that's, you know, they're, they're as bad as each other in a way as well. No, I wasn't going to be asked to figure out this. There we go. Whack a snake. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have to whack a snake. <laughs> I don't remember what to do with the hammer. Aye. It's been a while since I played this stage, obviously. Ah, oh, there we go. We have to build a strength potion. Of course. One ingredient over here. Stop that in. I don't know why I was doing it in the wrong order. The colour on the floor... Colours on the floor clearly dictate which order it's meant to be in, but obviously I was got, got the um, order wrong. Believed that it was blue, red, green, but it's not. It's green, red, blue. Just to clarify, <laughs> it actually does go... If you were to flatten it down on the floor, you would have to go into that order. Obviously I'm having a slight problem separating them now that I realise that I've got it wrong. Because they all seem to band together. And that's another problem. The target all doesn't always seem to be perfect. Like this. I'm trying to target it and every single time it just automatically lets go. And I disapprove. Come on, Harry. I'm pretty sure it's because I didn't hear it. No, oh, for goodness sake. I'm not doing it the wrong way again, am I? How thick could I possibly get? I'm looking at this and cringing. Honestly, I am. Now that I know that I'm doing it wrong here... I'm just looking at it and cringing. Ah, how thick could I possibly get? It's straightforward. It's right there on the floor. Right next to the damn puzzle. Alright. Green... Red. <laughs> Blue. There. <laughs> Don't do it like I did. <laughs> Don't be thick like I was. There's a skeleton down here. That's scary. <laughs> There's a skeleton beneath the floor that we walked. Can't go in that cupboard over there because Hermione needs to get in there. Or Professor McGonagall, or someone who's intelligent. <laughs> and yeah. Whack a snake. I do apologise for being so thick there. I'm not normally that. I'm not normally that thick. I mean, this is a very straightforward puzzle. I can't believe that I got it so wrong. I'm, like I say, looking at it myself, I'm cringing even. For those wondering what Harry's carrying in his hand, it's the map. So, can't put it down or anything. Okay. I think Filch might be around here, actually. Thinking on it. Bugger! Kill! Rollerblading spider. <laughs> That's one thing to do if you see a spider. If you're scared of spiders and you see it, then just imagine it with rollerblades. <laughs> okay, need to speak parcel ton to get all that out. So that I can build another platform. 
which takes us to another potion ingredient. Because, of course, we cannot build enough bloody potions in one level. We've already built, you know, we've already made one. We've already concocted one. Why do I need to do another? Come to think of it, I think on this part I didn't remember where the cauldron was. Still plenty of stuff to zap. And over there I think that's Ven... Um, venomous. Ven... No! Devil Snare! Not Venomous Tentaculous. I'm, I'm sorry about that guys, I'm just... I still keep trying, having to hold myself back from calling that Venomous Tentacular when it isn't Venomous Tentacular. And at least I found the cauldron. <laughs> That's a bloody achievement and a for me. Plenty of studs too. Ooh. Plenty to zap round here. Ah, uh, now we can get up to a higher level. Yay. But I think Filch is lurking around on that higher level. I'm sorry guys, I did say I thought Filch wasn't in this level. But he is. There's Mrs. Norris, that crafty evil cat. Next to Mr. Tip... Mr. Tinkles. One of the world's evilest cats. <laughs> Cannot keep her nose out of our business. Under the cloak, I don't think they spot. Yeah, but if you know, Filch can come up to you and grab you if he spots you, which can be very irritating. But there, uh, character token for Fred, and a potion ingredient to boot. Oh, and there's another one. How nifty's that? Didn't even have to do any work. <laughs> uh, let's drink. To your good health, Ronald. It's an invisibility potion. Why not get Ron to drink some as well? He's never going to get invisible in this game otherwise. I don't know why I need an invisibility potion when I've got the invisibility cloak, but it's probably because I walk so slow with it. You know, the invisibility cloak and can't bloody cast spells from under the thing. That and Ron's walking around in his PJs because for whatever reason he doesn't want to get under the cloak. <laughs> okay, I can see why there's an invisibility potion. <laughs> we're nearly there. Any minute now, we're going to uncover this Peter Pettigrew. If he really is there, we're going to make him reveal why he's lied about his death. What has he got to hide? What is so bad that he lied about being dead? I think you need to be a Slytherin to skip that, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't think I bothered trying in any case. Oh... Such a dark, dark night. And Movie Maker starting to lag because it's a piece of crap. And, but you know, it doesn't matter because I'm still manipulating absolutely everything. But it will matter when I finish this level when I see the cutscene. I mean, I seriously can't believe that Movie Maker can lag as badly as it does here. But I think it's all to do with, you know, having too much in it at one time. Or doing too much at one time. I'm not 100% sure. I don't use Windows Live Movie Maker. I just use the um, one that was on Feast. On the uh, Feaster, because that's the one I'm used to using. <laughs> I don't want to adjust to anything new. But unfortunately, Peter Pettigrew's got away and Snape's out. Covered us. And he's punished us by blinding us. Put that damn light out, Snape. <laughs> the 
portraits are trying to sleep. <laughs> but yeah, that's the next level. Unfortunately, Pettigrew got away, so... Whatever. So, I'm just going to finish off this part here. That's a good two levels I've done, so... That's not too bad. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next part. We'll be able to plan our next move and find out what's going on here. Because something's going on. See you then.